Hi everyone. So I've made this effect in Unreal Engine and what we're gonna do today, we will do this swirly circular texture in Substance Design. Obviously, um, I've made some additional particle systems uh, in here. You can see the sparks floating and there are a couple um, different color variations of this uh, circular texture. Um, but we're just gonna make a simple texture in uh, Substance. So let me walk you through the steps in Photoshop. Uh, we're gonna start with this shape, we're gonna turn that into this starburst. I'm mm, gonna apply some swirl motion to it, some blur. I'm gonna use various techniques to erode the texture, um, like you can see here and here. And we're just gonna colorize it a little bit, okay? So I really like the, this set of colors and I've exported this texture into the Unreal Engine. Um, also, I want to mention that a variation of this and you know a couple of other textures as well will be available to all my patrons. So even if you are a tier one supporter, you'll get um, a pack of uh, those. Mm, and yeah, and maybe you'll be able to create something a lot better than uh, what I've made quickly here. Okay. Right. So let's dive into Substance Designer now. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a waveform one node. And in here, all I'm gonna do is just maybe get noise to 0.5. Uh, let's use pattern six, which is a default one. And for the samples, let's go with three. And now we could just, you know, modify the min size to something like 0.5. And now I need to offset this um, to the edge, to the top edge, because I wanna use shape mapper. So I want to map it basically to the center. Um, so shape mapper, uh, you want to use just pattern amount of one, radius zero and width of one. And now actually I want to increase this just a little bit. So maybe min size might be something like 0.8. So you still got a little bit of variation there, but not too much, which is what we want in this example okay so the next will be splatter circular and we need to plug our pattern into input one and use it here okay uh, let's go maybe with nine uh, radius zero and now it's the scale um, modification so let's go with five and let's start increasing uh, this a little bit more to something like this maybe okay and um, now as you can see this is like very uniform so I'll try to maybe randomize it so I'm just gonna make it something like um, this maybe okay I think this is still very uniform so let's see what else we can do okay we can maybe randomize the pattern rotation and also maybe scale random as well, something like 0.3. Yeah, maybe it's just maybe 0.5 on the rotation, but a little bit too much. So let's go with maybe 0.2. So we get something like this. And I want to increase the scale of it here as well. Okay, cool. So now I want to blur this a little bit and fill this space. So I'm going to use slope blur. And I'm going to use shape as well. And I'm going to go for the soft circle. Max the samples and you can see I'm getting the uh, a bit more data on the edges. You can see we've got a cut here, but don't worry about it for now because we're going to fix it later. Okay, now swirl. I'm going to hold and press alt and shift and scale it up just to fill the, the square and for the amount i'm gonna go for 1.5 i think i've tried one and two so i think in between somewhere in the middle um, and gave me the best results although you know feel free to adjust this value um, to whatever you might need okay now i want to get rid of the center because i want the center to be empty so I'm just going to use blend and I'm going to blend it with the shape. 
I'm gonna go for this and I'm gonna blur it as well because I want to have a little bit more control than just going for the soft circle shape and in here I'm gonna use subtract so now I can go back to the shape and actually use the scale to adjust it and make it a bit more accurate okay so we get something like this and now I'm gonna use radial blur and I'm gonna max the samples and for the angle I'm gonna go for 0 0.08 and I'm gonna duplicate it so copy paste and I'm gonna add minus on this one I'm gonna blend it and I will try different nodes blending modes to see uh, which one looks best oh I like the subtract mm, max light and seems to be pretty good cool as well and that one as well okay so i got three that might work but i'm gonna go with the subtract first to see if it's uh if it's something that i want actually okay i would like to have a bit more data in those spaces so maybe let me try to uh, modify this platter circular um, as for the size okay It doesn't seem like it's doing anything so maybe for now I'm gonna just add levels to it uh, maybe that will give me a little bit more data yeah you can see here okay so I'm just gonna leave this as it is and I'm gonna blend it with our original texture which is this one and what I want to do I want to maybe try add because I want those highlights to be visible okay so now maybe let's try to run it through auto levels and let's you know add some uh, color to it mainly because we're gonna uh, erode it later on but i want to see the colors first okay so this one i'm just gonna go for a bit more bluish tone and in here i'm gonna pick like a, a little bit cold and desaturated red Something like this or maybe a little bit more bluish okay i think this could work and i'm gonna change the uh, this to smooth as well and max it And for this, maybe I just want it to be a little bit more colder and desaturated. Okay, cool. And I'm going to apply glow as well. And I want to add a little bit more warmer color here. Okay, so we get something like um, this. cool so now let's maybe play with the erosion okay so before auto levels what i want to do i just want to design some sort of pattern that we're gonna use to um, erode uh, the texture in various places okay so i need to blend it plug it into auto levels and now in here we can just add subtract maybe somewhere or maybe let's max it for now and let's start designing the pattern. So I'm just gonna use shape and I wanna use circle. So that'll be a disc and I wanna run it through splatter circular. Uh, here I need to switch to image input. For the pattern amount, I'm gonna go for a high number. Maybe let's try 150 and then we can reduce it. As for the radius, I'm gonna go for run, random radius as well. And what else? What else? Size a lot smaller. I'm gonna go for random 
scale random rather than size random because if I'm gonna go for the size random you see we're gonna get like a strix and I want to maintain the circular shape okay what else we've got here yeah I'm just gonna use luminance random as well and that seems to be pretty good okay so now let's maybe run it through slope blur because I want to create like a, a zoom blur for it as well so basically I'm gonna use shape soft circle max the samples and I'm gonna go for something crazy like 50 okay I'm gonna duplicate it here and I'm gonna go for minus 50 in this for this example and let me try maybe subtract those two uh, maybe different order okay so we get something like this maybe and let's see if this could work for our erosion so obviously we got some weird results because we need to run it through swirl again to match the uh, the swirl from the other pattern okay so alt shift scale it to the square and obviously previously we used 1.5 so let's try 1.5 and see how it works okay cool so as you can see we got this I think it's a little bit stylized which is something that we might want uh, erosion and I think it looks pretty cool and we essentially get this so now maybe what I would like to do is just get um, a little bit better highlights okay so we introducing highlights here so we could do we could run it through levels plug it here I'm just gonna double click on the glow because I want to preview uh, results and in here I'm just gonna see if I can you know out at those highlights okay so this is how you control it basically I want to run it through scan histogram scan as well because I want to see if I can make them a little bit uh, sharper Mm, doesn't seem like so I'm gonna just delete it and plug those back in okay let's see what else we could do I'm just trying to balance those out a little bit more Okay, so I'm going to basically use something like uh, like this maybe. Now let me go back to the gradient and let's maybe adjust some values here. Okay, and now my favorite part. So now we've got this graph and now we could actually go back through our nodes that we've created and actually make some adjustments okay and we can have a variety of the results which is the idea behind the substance design so now let's say I want to have a bit more you know a little bit different pattern like right? so I could go back and you know make some adjustments here and I can use radius and make adjustments there as well So as you can see we could get plenty of results by just adjusting the uh, uh, those values okay what else I could do okay I think that's pretty cool so I want to go for a little bit of softer shape like this for example and then let me experiment with it so what I'm gonna do I'm just maybe copy paste this whole graph 
and I'm going to add this as my highlights. And obviously in here, I just want to probably blend it with a soft circle so we can get rid of the uh, cats on the edges. So shape, soft circle, and I'm going to use multiply here. Cool. Uh, I'm going to increase the scale of it as well to something like 0.3. So I get a little bit more data on the edges. As you can see here, we've got the and this coming through from this side so let's maybe try to disable tiling see if that's gonna work mm, possibly hard to tell if not just use the scale and scale it down a bit okay so let's see if we could get a little bit better highlights here okay so i'm just gonna click on this blend node and i'm gonna max it temporary so then I can go back to splatter note and, you know, make some adjustments maybe here using the different size. Okay, so I think that works. And also I can reduce the pattern amount to something like maybe, let's go with six. And I'm going to blend this one back in as well. Uh, but after, um, after this graph. So I'm going to plug this into here and back in here. And I'm going to use maybe add linear. Obviously not. What else we could use? Actually, let's use add linear, but reduce the opacity. I'm going to change the order as well. So now we have full control over the highlights. For example, if you want, you know, those kind of highlights. We could also change it to subtract if you want to actually have those as a dark lines rather than highlights. And yeah, and we have a full control in the other notes as well so if i want to you know make this a little bit different i can play with the angle in on the radiator blur uh, same and here uh, let me maybe create a different color variation just for fun i'm gonna go for the flamey look Okay, so as you can see, we could get some really decent looking results, I think. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I really like this pattern. I think it's pretty cool. Um, also, there's a lot of control as well. So if you want to, you know, less or more erosion, um, highlights and other bits as well. It's very soft and I think it's a sort of stylized uh, texture. So I'll be using that one actually a lot. And maybe I will uh, experiment with uh, different shapes as well. So yeah, anyway, that's the, another circular texture. Mm, all right, thanks for watching.